two times Olympic gold medalist Giles Scott helps fun on port side on Ineos Britannia. Giles, could you please could you please walk us through the day? Yeah, we uh, were a little little later off the dock this morning. I uh, had a few um, a few bugs to resolve with with one of the chase boats, but yeah, we got out there as the Garby Sea Breeze was firmly in, uh, and yeah, a real nice three hours of yachting around in perfect conditions, 15 to 20 knots, pretty flat water. Yeah, Barcelona put it put it on for us today. Today, back to the Legacy Rudder. Is the short team making further modifications on it? Yeah, there's a few there's a few things being looked at on that rudder, and yeah, it's in in, in the shed today. So we had uh, yeah we had the, the the shorter Legacy rudder out today, which um, yeah which went well. Are the modifications going to be on the strut, on on elsewhere? Uh, you're gonna have to wait. You have to wait and see. Okay. Lots of differences in between the two rudders. How much that is affect, does it affect the sailing on the water? Yeah, I mean the, the the yachts as a whole are pretty pretty sensitive to to to, to rudder balances in, in general um, with with the way the sail plan works and the, the way the the foils are orientated on the on, on the yacht. So yeah, getting um, getting that the, getting the rudders optimized nicely is a I'm sure a big ticket for for every team. How good is the data that you collect whenever you sail with the legacy rudder? Is, is it highly biased or is it still useful? No, it's very, very useful. I mean, ev everything's pretty, pretty censored up. That, you know, that that rudder e equally so. Obviously, the uh, the other rudder is a is, is a step on in, in generation from 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 the legacy. Um, but yeah, we you know, I think today showed that we had a great day out there sailing around and hitting good numbers. Today, some non-organized crossings with Alinghi on one of the upwinds. Yeah. How much were you able to extend the distance from the first cross to the last one? Uh, oh, I mean, I think the yeah, it was uh, yeah, we had a little a little look at Alinghi, as you say. We ended up on opposite tacks here and there, um, going upwind, and yeah, I mean, we you know we we feel pretty pretty good with where we're at with with uh, with our yacht and, and to be honest we've got to stay focused on that it's um, it's pretty hard to tell where these other teams are at and you know it's it's close and we, we just got to keep pushing what is it what is the level of confidence of the team at the moment it's good yeah confidence is is, is high you know we think um, we've certainly got got a lot of a lot of work to do we feel like we've got a lot of gains to make and we're finding that hugely motivating and that's where our focus is thank you very much thanks we're here with Yves Kouvazip, simulator development. If would you say, how would you say the day the day went for the Alinghi Red Bull Racing Team? Well, it was a beautiful day, you know. It was a stronger breeze, uh, a lot of uh, training, maneuvers. Uh, the boat went super well, so no, a very happy day. Is a match between a 75 and a 40 something of tested in the simulator, or was that just freestyling? Uh, no, that was for the for the water. You know, we've got the the AC40 sailing at the moment, so uh, I, see, I think the, uh, it was just a kind of an exercise to to see how how that could work. On the swell simulation, on the modeling of the swell in your simulator, how non-linear is that process, and uh, what gains are there to be made? Well, I'm not sure about the the non-linear question. It, it's it's certainly one more parameter, you know, that that you have in the in the game and that you have to learn. So uh, it's uh, it's one more complexity to to reach uh, to go out and have a have a nice boat. Does your simulator uh, model heel pitch of the boat? Yes, uh, it models uh, physically. Yeah, physically it models uh, the boat entirely. So you, I suppose you use a in-house developed simulator, and how much different is that from the Gombok tool? Well, to be honest, I, I don't know the Gombok tool, so uh, I can only tell you that uh, the our tool uh, uh, works well. What was your focusing on today on the water? Your focus? My my focus is uh, is uh, watching the sailing, uh, trying to uh, get creative, uh, understanding what's happening. And coming back with some uh, some inputs, some uh, you know, some small uh, tricks to see if we can uh, make a couple of things uh, go better. On that, what do you think are the gains that can be made on the simulator side? Well, the simulator is the I think it's a perpetual uh, quest of perfection. You know, you some areas where the simulator is better than others. Uh, where you have put more energy than, than others, and so 
we know what we want to reach no is, is the reality uh, but we are you know brick after brick working on the past to to get closer to that thank you for the time eh? that was wonderful thanks a lot